Hey guys! Today I'm excited to share a tablet review with you all. The folks over at XP Pen asked if I would like to review this tablet in exchange for the tablet itself, and I very happily said yes. I love trying out new art materials, so thank you XP Pen for sending this over. This will be my honest review of the Deco 03. To test out this tablet, I'll be using my Mac laptop and I'll be painting a portrait in Photoshop CC, so I'll be showing my process for that as I share my review of the Deco 03. This tablet comes with the tablet itself, a pen, a pen holder, eight replacement nibs, a USB cable, a wireless connector, a drawing glove, a flash drive with the driver on it, and the warranty and quick start guide material. So first I want to talk about some of the features of this tablet. The working area is 10 inches by 5.62 inches wide. There are 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, and you can use it whether you're left-handed or right-handed. There's a dial and six customizable express keys, which you can program to be your most commonly used shortcuts. It works with Windows or Mac laptops or computers, and you can use the included USB connection or you can go wireless. Now I want to talk about what I really liked about this tablet. I really liked the size of the tablet, how it's a little longer than the typical tablet. I worked with smaller tablets before that are similar to this, and for me they were just too little, so this was a really nice size. I also really enjoyed how lightweight yet sturdy it was at the same time. It's nicely made, it's not with cheap materials, but really great quality materials, and it's light enough to still travel with if you wanted to. I also love how this tablet has the ability to go wireless. It's always nice to have one less cord in my life. The pen on the screen also felt good. It's not super scratchy or anything like that. And with smoothing on just a bit in Photoshop, I feel like it had really good pull. And I'm not sure really how to explain that, but when I was starting my piece, I liked how just it was just smooth. The lines just worked and flowed. So working with Photoshop felt quite natural to me. I also loved how this tablet came with this pen holder. I'm prone to losing things, so having this nice quality large case helped me with that. And also, I love the idea of being able to put your pen in the case, throw it in a bag, and not have to worry about the pen getting destroyed because it's not protected. My favorite part of this tablet, though, was the dial. At first, I made it the zoom in, zoom out shortcut, and I didn't use it that much. But about halfway through my piece, I changed it to the bigger brush, smaller brush function, and I used it all the time. It really quickened my workflow because I didn't have to keep clicking a button to change the brush size like I normally would have had to. It was just one quick swirl of the dial. So I think this dial is really a standout feature for me. And if you get one of these, definitely program it to be a function that you use all the time. So now for a couple things I struggled with a bit. I struggled a bit with the fact that I'm a light-handed artist. So I have a really light touch and I kept the click sensitivity all the way towards light, but I had to press pretty hard still to get my dark values. There were workarounds for this, however, like using a darker color than I actually needed, then I didn't have to work as hard to get that dark opacity. I will say though that once I got to the more subtle stages of my painting, the levels of pressure sensitivity were quite nice. I could slowly ease up to my values and make these small incremental value changes easily. My final little struggle was that I'm used to making the button on my pen be the eyedropper tool when I click it. So in the past, all I've had to do is hover over a color and click the button on my pen and it picks up the color in one step. But with this current driver, I couldn't program a keystroke plus a mouse click for the pen button. So instead, I programmed one of my express keys to be the alt key, so when I wanted to pick up a color, I would just press my express key and then press down on the color I wanted to pick up with the pen tip. And those two steps would get the job done. It was just one more step than usual, so I was able to get over this point after I developed a muscle memory for it. So who would this tablet be good for? If you want an inexpensive, reliable tablet that's portable too, then I think this is a great option. I really liked that I was able to move from place to place around my house with my tablet and laptop and just be able to draw in Photoshop wherever I wanted. I also think it's a great choice for beginners who are looking to experiment with digital painting, but aren't sure if they want to invest the big bucks just yet. This will give you a good experience at a lower price point. Overall, great quality tablet, and I'll definitely continue to use it with my laptop and Photoshop workflow. I'll add links in the description below if you're interested in purchasing this tablet, and thank you so much for watching guys, and please enjoy the rest of the painting.